everybody and welcome to a new modern video we're playing some new cards today one is lava spore boots which is going to replace the ginger brute giving plus one plus oh haste and ward one and you can of course pick this card up with urza saga and the other addition is fomor evolved which has replaced a memnite and it's a land that in late game you can use it to grab your extra hammer or whatever you need also, this list from uh, Travis Brown is playing Cryptic Coat over Cadre Complete, which is something that I didn't think of, wouldn't have thought of, but we'll see how it works. Again, I got this list from him. He has a, a Hammer Patreon. He even gave me his plans, so maybe uh, today I can follow that, uh, which is definitely going to help my sideboarding. Um, another card that is very interesting to me is Failure to Comply. And this is mostly here for the um, amulet matchup. You're able to bounce the amulet and then the, uh, sorry, the titan. And then the next turn you can name a primeval titan and you just buy two turns with a single card. Uh, yeah, that's it. Everything else is quite straightforward armor action. So let's get to the games with it. Round number one, my opponent has revealed the Kahira. I'm gonna go with Esper Sentinel and pass the turn. You should have also played Ornithopter. Yeah, just in case I draw a Hammer, I can go Cigar to the plus Thopter. Although I guess if I do that, then I... Hmm. The best draw against fair matchups like that is always the... Or is a saga? Oh wow, my opponent draws, gives me a card. Huh. I don't use it too well since I just draw extra paladins. I got a little bit fountain, I'll make them play around uh spell peers even if I don't have it. Antas. Ooh, lava spore boots. Play Paladin as a bait for a counter spell. Then I can play the boots, draw a card. I'll attack first, so that if they have solitude on my Paladin in response to the boots, at least they deal two damage. Abu, draw a card. Okay, I can keep for free now. I guess you can say I missed the damage. I guess Ornithopter was like the only way I would have been able to keep. So yeah, for more Revolt, uh, better than Memnite for, so far, since I needed a land. And later in this game, I can discard a card and just, you know, look at the top and blah blah blah. Although obviously you need a Urza Saga. In order to carry those games. Okay, I'm putting a plus to Fairy. I don't draw really well, so I'm just gonna tap the Teferi and pass. And pays four mana and casts the one ring. Okay, I drew Colossus Armor. Of course, they have ring protection, so I'm not gonna kill them. So I'm just gonna attack the fairy once again, hoping they don't have a, a solid. Actually, this is Ward, so yeah, the fairy is dead. And I pass. Hmm. Actually, I'm wondering if I should play Colossus Armor. Because you can't counter it with counter spell. Nah. Unfortunately, Surge doesn't protect me from um, 
Breath of God. He just says X proof. Tux, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome. Ramos, hello. You played against me in Chicago? Nice. Alright, let's try and play this hammer end of turn. Yeah, I think I'm happy to do things end of turn, just in case I can untap and have more mana. Let's see what happens. If they go counter spell, I'll definitely regret not having played this in my turn. But I was just a little bit afraid of Supreme Verdict. Force negation? Okay. Yeah. Alright, untap. Draw. Hey, I got nothing to do, so. I'll just attack. I'll keep the cigar as Andy Nan for Femore Revolt, so I can discard uh, this and get a real card. When is at 10, they go down 8, 7. And if this Ornithopters were Mem Knight, <laughs> my clock would have been much, much better this game. Yeah, I could have for sure played uh, the hammer in my turn when he was tapped out, but you know, they had a uh, force of negation in hand probably. Maybe they drew it with the ring, you never know. Anyway, uh, they tap, white, blue. Prismatic ending. So I'm gonna wait you to pay the ward. Pay the ward. And then I'll go surge, give you my creatures X proof. Okay. And then I will take the turn, hoping to once again draw Colossus Armor. I don't, but at least now I can use the Fomori Ult. Next turn. So still, could have been <laughs> had a lot of better draws. Why blue? What's this? Leyline Binding. It's three to activate. It's a lot. Like Surge again. Okay, so you're at four and Ring is at three. Man, if this top turns were... Uh... This top turns wore the Mem Knight of the won this game. It's cool that both of the new cards arrived in the first game. But yeah. So it hasn't done too much, and this one has um this one has done something, yeah. Definitely better than Ginger Brute in this game. He drew me a card with Paladin. Okay, they can bounce the ring. I think they must. Yeah. Otherwise, they lose. Yeah, another top that did their job. I'm just saying, if this were Mem Knight. I guess this also could have been Mem Knight, because that's the card I cut for Femori Vault. Or rather, Travis Brown cut for Femori Vault, I should say. Anyway, here I have two lethal threats with the boots. I can put them on the Doctor. I have two lethal threats. But I have put us 12 cards in it, and all they did was Teferi bounce ring. They didn't even play a ring. Crazy. They didn't draw a ring, nor... Yeah, but that, they had to draw ring, I think. That was the only card to draw. Yeah. 
Yeah, the ward the ward one was very taxing for sure, especially paired with the protection spell. Okay, opponent goes to this card. This card's she ca she has five card. I did the escape she performed. It performed. I think okay. I mean, not great, but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, mm -hmm. let me put the boots. What if I put the boots on the thopter? Yeah, so I have two little. Oh, they concede. Yeah, I'm gonna put the boots on the thopter and attack with both. They only have one mana, so yeah. I, mean, I don't know how I won this game, but like I guess slowly, you know, the classic control deck just just die at some point. The one there was worth a lot. Yeah, I mean it was a different deck. Yeah, I, mean, I think the deck. It's okay. The problem of <sighs> the problem with that scape shift deck is the same one as as prowess. Sure, the new cards improved it. It's just that the archetype just struggles a bit, you know. Anyway. What do we want to cut? So, bad cards. Ornithopter. Maybe Spring Live Drum. What is good? For sure, Spell Pierce. Pitting Needle. Earth Surge. Do this. Oh, actually, I have the Cyber Guide. From Travis Brown. Let me check it. Uh, 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 Ubu control. What does it do? He sides out. No, he sides out the boots. Oh no, the shadow spear. He sides out. Okay. And he sides out one drum. Okay, that one I got. He keeps in all thopters. Oh no, he sides out four thopters. So six cards. He brings in three peers, one surge, one needle, and one failure to comply. Wow, I got so close. I was one card off of his plan. Let's go. I was one card off. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm satisfied. It's like when you do a test. Ooh, this could have been a... Actually though, this hand doesn't do anything. Is that This could have been a Shadow Spear. If the Shadow Spear is 100% mulligan, Yeah, that's smiling on this end. Okay, we got full body bolt. Keep. What do I bottom? I think I bottom the drum, yeah. I'm gonna draw Urza Saga. That's the card I wanna draw. Beans Tower. I got nothing to do. Go. Is there a meticulous archive in this deck? Oh, there should be. There should be for sure. Classic. Classic aggro deck being like, oh no, I don't want to play it because they may they may slow me down. And then you just always on curve with a fetch landed. I would love it. Okay. Virgin you can reanimate this next turn. You draw Urza Saga. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ooh, pithy needle. Oh, I could play the end of turn. You are right. I missed that interaction. Cryptic Coat end of turn with Sigarda's aid. It would have been much better. It would have been so much better. So much better it would have been. Yeah, this was my mind mistake 100%. Needle. I'll name the one ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think about that play at all. And now I know for the future. I've never 
I guess I've never played Cryptic Code and Cigar as in the same deck. Or if I did, it was a bunch of time ago. All right, they ending my needle. Mm -hmm. And then what? And then I play Chalice of the Void. Le Chalice. All right, uh, actually I have no artifacts in play, so I can't use the vault. I would have loved to try and dig for the Urza Saga, which is like the only card that can win me the game. I'll concede to the ring. Oh no, they return Giganta, okay. You know, this game, if I if I had done Cryptic Code End of Turn, they counter, I untap play Forge on you, maybe, maybe I have a chance to win the game. I guess my power level is still super low and I can't cast any spell now, so it's still gonna be hard. But I still believe in Urza Saga. I think if I draw that, I can turn this game around. Let's see if this resolves. Doesn't it's rare to see Chalice of the Void these days. Not that many decks can play it. I guess just Blue White Control is the only one that plays it. Alright, I got bored. Let's play another game. I'm sure. I'm sure we can have more fun conceding and playing a new game. Alright. Uh any answer? Yeah, I think I'll bring in. This is an answer to um, Chalice of the Void. Okay, now what does this hand do? I think it's a mulligan. I do have Saga, but I don't have a third land, and Drum isn't a Mox. It isn't as much better. I'm happy to keep it. What do I want to put on the bottom? If I put on the bottom a land that isn't for more evolved, like I put on the bottom Windswept Eve. I've been trying this for more evolved a lot. I haven't, I haven't activated yet, but it's definitely been with me a lot. Maybe I should have bottomed it here. Oh, I should have played Mem Knight. I missed one damage. It doesn't matter. A paladin. I'll play it. I don't want to play it. Yeah, I think so. Like if they counter spell this, I'm okay. I don't mind. It means I draw a card. Dita. Okay, I can cycle with four more revolt if I want to now. This card surge and select one of the top two cards. Probably don't want to do it though. Surge is good here. I just really wish there was a surveil in my deck.
Okay, so you took 4, down to 11. Could have been a 10 if I played a turn with Mem Knight. Oof. Hey, could have been a 9. I'm gonna do the, the, the reverse countdown here. One less life. Let's see, I can't really play the one ring. I mean, I guess they can. They just make me draw a card, though. Maybe a Teferi. If, if only in these games I had dressed down. Um, or is a saga. If only. Okay, you kill my Sentinel and you pay the tax. Is there a blank I can cycle it with a more vault? It's not a blank. That's good, actually. As so I was going to attack first, and then I play spell post combat. Yeah, no survey land. I don't like it. That's that's the thing I do with prowess. I hundred percent play one, even if it's sometimes clunky. The fact that you have like ten fetches and you don't always play on curve. Anyway, um, what is my card here? I think it is Cryptic Coat, and now I've learned that I can just pass the turn and play it whenever I want. And the whenever I want is now. Oh, I have to target? Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to choose a no on the cryptic code. So yes here. No here. And then make it the mysterious creatures, which has word to, and you can't bounce it. What is it? What did a clock? Cigar does eight. Much happier to have cryptic code than uh, Kadra complete right now. The opponent bounced the Leyland binding, okay. Wow, you take cryptic code, okay. Draw a Spur Sentinel, interesting. I uh, think I'll play it. Also play this Hollywood Fountain, I think. I know I have four more gold. I guess. Hmm. Nah, maybe I don't play it. Kill the fairy. Go face. Do I play it or not? Yeah, if Mario needs to discard, yeah, yeah, I don't play it. Go F6. Oh, do you want to solitude my Mem Knight to keep the fairy around? Sure. Fine with it. The Sentinel, I think it's good because they, they play a ring. They need either a fifth mana up or they need to, you know, and okay, they solitude pitch solitude. Sure. I guess you take the Paladin. What do you take? Yep. All right. So you go to five. Fairy dies. Yeah, with the Vault next turn, we can grab a Urza Saga too. Maybe. And that's the card I want to draw so badly. I still haven't drawn one. I only drawn one of the hands that I ended up mulliganing. Probably wasn't this game. Yeah, it wasn't this game.
or mana. And tap everything. Opponent with five minutes less than us in the clock. Classic blue white opponent. Going to their tournament knowing <laughs> I draw at least one or two matches. That's okay, we're playing on Magical Line. There's no timer restriction here. Four, the one ring. Okay, I draw a card. I draw Surge of Salvation. Okay. It's better if I drew Spell Pierce. A missile lane drop, okay. I draw, there it is. That's the spell because I wanted to draw for Kaboya. Do I want to play land? Nah, I'll just pass here. Go to four. Let's see, hopefully they don't have a Supreme Verdict. That one is uncounterable. And again, Surge doesn't protect you from indestructible cards. Whereas, uh, Blacksmith Skill does. I guess Surge protects you from Pick Your Poison. That's interesting. Right? Yeah, I think it does. Oh, it says each opponent? All right. I thought it said you. I thought it said target opponent. Pick your poison. So good. Unbelievable. Pick your poison could have easily been a mythic rare in the big score set. And everybody had to pour like 30 euros to get it. Probably more. Like, it's just everywhere, pick your poison. It's like one euro, and it's the most recent common in the set, which usually doesn't worth anything. I wonder. I wonder if they thought about all the repercussion that pick your poison would have, would have made when they printed it. Opponents is a typical blue eye control player. They just, they just think, they think, they're like, hmm, maybe, hmm, hmm, but what if, hmm. They ponder, exactly, they ponder, they're like, hmm, maybe I should play another ring, hmm. No, I don't remember Delver of Secrets impact in Innistrad. That was uh, 13 years ago, my friend. 13 years ago, I was 17 years old. Life was smiling at me. Your opponent, please play faster. Unfortunately, on Magical Line, you can't. This is game three. They have all the time to think about their next play. They decided after all that pondering that the tournament, the turn ends here. No, no, they just went to second main. They just wanted to check if I was in F6 and they're now back at pondering. Hmm. Hmm, what if? Hmm. This is a famous F6 check that you should do. If you suspect your opponent has a counter spell from main phase one, you can go to main phase two. And then from main phase two, you can go to end step. All right. So, I will untap. I don't use the Fomor Revolt. Upkeep. There is more time to think for my opponent. It's now time to think in my upkeep phase. Oh, oh, they're moving. They are moving, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. 
Red mana floating, is that a wear tear? Are you wearing and tearing? Or just tearing? Ooh, you're also wearing. Ha uh ha. -huh. Can you please pay my tax? You do? Okay, thank you. Oh, you didn't pay the tax? Jeez. I don't know why Magic only decided to not show the art on this card. It does, does it matter what do I counter? I guess it does. Yeah, I'll spell piece this. Yuri Grande wins the match. All right, this was a very long match. I got bored, but thankfully we won. I'll take a bathroom break and I'll come back for round number two. Go anywhere. Okay, we found an opponent and we are in the play. And my hand has lands and spells. Hmm. Nice hand. I'm gonna go Flooded Strand Plains, Cigar as a Thopter go, and next turn I can already threaten the 10 12 creature. Flying for a very brief moment. Put a monster to 5. We love to see it. La 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 la. Plains, Aid, Thopteru. No, it's sbagliato. Oh, that's the same, it's the same. But I was supposed to play eight. I just clicked on the right, on the wrong card. Hammer, top the roof. Go. But yeah, eight should have been in play now. It costs the same mana. All right, good at foothills. Okay, clearly, if they're good at foothills, I don't want to do that because they can have a bolt. Just gonna go Nexus, Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, of course, in my deck, I don't have Cadre Complete, but I don't think I would have gotten to it anyway. There's a Saga. Forge in you, interesting. So I'll get another uh, Colossus Armor. And pass. It's only real bad if they Tots is my aid, but then I guess I have Forge in you to equip. I'm just happy to be here now. Okay, that's the creativity mana, by the way. Maybe I was supposed to get Lava Spore Boots. Word one, very big deal. Okay, let's go Cigar to Zaid. Let's go land. Let's attack with both. Let's play Hammer. Put it on the Thopter. Yes. And then I'll play Hammer, put it on the Stoneforge. Now if you have Leyline Binding, that's okay to me. I'll pass the turn and you take at least 10. If you don't have Leyline Binding, you die. You do have Leyline Binding, okay. See if they kill the Hammer or no, they kill Stoneforge. That's better. That means next turn I can go Forge and you and I keep uh, again. Okay, they get Secret Foundry. Let's see what they do. It may be Teferi Bounce, and then I just die to this origin. Ending? Oh, it's an ending. Wow. They ended the Thopter. Hmm. They're shocked. 
Ooh, nice draw here, Urza Saga. I'll play Ramana Thai. Some people play that card. Breathe? Hmm. Pass. Yeah, yeah, I, they're gonna make me discard the forge in you now. Oh no, they didn't have the creativity. Very nice. Yeah, if they win creativity here, I would have uh, been in a bad spot. I needed to top deck. Okay, we win. Now, let's see the cyber plan for Creatividad. I have four top shares, one Memonite, one Gift, one Ball. Four top share, one Memonite, one Gift, one Ball. That's seven cards. What do we bring in? Two Failure, one Lantern, three, two Tears, two Surge. Huh. Why Lantern? I don't like Lantern to bring in. I'll bring in three Tears and two Surge. Oh yeah, I'm okay with bringing in two Failure. Blow on Shadow Spear. Doesn't seem very good, does it? Yeah. Ah, oh, whatever. He says to keep it in. I'm not gonna disagree. Because I don't persist. Yeah, I don't I don't think this opponent is. They played the deuce. The deuce. Hey, really nice hand. We have a lot of interaction with Urza Saga. Shadow Spear could have been anything. Don't think it's particularly good, but we'll see. Go fly the string, go. Keeping up spell piece for Ren and Six. And if they don't play anything, I'll cry that there isn't a survey land in my deck. Under your ran and ticks. Okay. I'm going to go Urza Saga for sure. And uh, I was going to play around Teferi, but I just drew the Stone Forge. Plus, I don't think they can play Teferi because they milled the Steam Bands. And I get Banner and pass. Gypsy Guard is 18 end. They can't get Steam Bands unless they play two. Uh huh. I'll land go. They don't do anything like a construct. If not, they try to combo. I can't bounce the creativity with failure. They pass. Nice. Very nice. With construct. Hmm. What do I want to do? Because failure costs a lot of mana. I'll make another construct. I'll get Spring Live Drum. Then I'll play Saga. I think I want to pass with both of my creatures. So that I can hold up failure. Okay, you got Dwarven Mine. What else do you do? The Deuce, okay. Four mana draw two. Inspiration, end of turn. They play Leyline Binding. Okay. Ay ay ay, they hit my Springlet Drum. 
That hurts. Guess I die now. Yep, I die. GG. To quickly their deck. Get poison. Pine Moon Reprieve. Okay. Go game three. I think I'll just shot a spear. I don't think it belongs to this matchup. Okay, I think the Ornithopter may be good in a combo matchup. Right? I don't think I think it does. Also good with drum. I got a cryptic coat. Creatividad, exactly. Daniel, are you happy to see? Man, where is my surveillance? Where is it? Where is it? I just want to scry. I just want to scry, Katsu. And do you also play 61 cards? Game 3 against Hammer? Or do you not do that? And so said. Can I play Aridmez instead of Winds of Teeth? Yes, but you asking me that question concerns me about a lot of other things. Go Stoneforge, and I cited out the um, Cryptic Coat, so I'm gonna get the boots. The boots! Oh, green. Oh, no. 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 No, chat. My God, it's stone rained. No. No. Sedge. Mango very sedge. It's not fair. Oh, nice. I love Spring the Drum here. I gained back my land drop. Thanks to Spring Lift Drum. I'll hold up Spell Piers in case they have Fable. To fairy or ran and ticks, sure, whatever. So Pierce against Hammer. That's a, that's unexpected. All right, let's draw the guard as eight. Easy. Now. Just gotta go this. The only thing I have is Amr. And I'll uh, attack. Do I go face or on Bren? I think I'll go face. I bet it win? Yeah. Maybe I should have protected my saga better, but it just has Svelpius anyway, so there was no way for me to protect it. It's okay, I mean, I still need to draw Sigarda's aid for the win. On a mango stream, we either randomly lost the random loss to creativity. Nah, that's not true. I don't lose to creativity much. When do I lose to creativity? 
Questo è il match, come on. Basta, madonna, ma che cazzo c'è fo? Are you chum blocking with the, the dwarf? No way. Gar. Tati Tiran. Man, imagine not having the perfect curve, stone rain, random six to fairy creativity. Imagine not doing it. No, I can't be a creativity player. That's why it's not over. It's not over yet. I guess that's why I need a Shadow Spear, huh? Alright, 8. Paladin? Manco bel cazzo, porca merda. I mean... <sighs> Alright, this hand seems playable. Synthesizer also? No way! No way! This was 10 yesterday! This was 10 yesterday and I didn't buy it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I was like, nah, kind is too much. It'll go down. Forget the big, big rare. Why does it go down? <laughs> no, Mango, why? Why Mango so bad? Why? All right, what do I do? I have bird and catacomb. Do I want to do the? No, I think I'll just take it slow. Let's get stone forge for hammer. Blah blah blah. Oh, there are cells. I did sell a magical line for 20. 20! Can you believe it? Now it's 57. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, it conceded. Wow, we won. Woo! Woo! Is there a cyber guy for Bird and Catacomb? What's Bird and Catacomb concede? That's hammer time. No, that's scam. What is a scammer? Your scammer. The old thopters, Memnite, Gift, Drum. What do you say in Surge? Come Pierce against Scam, Mavala, Needle. Oh, Carta Castle. Okay, ending for sure. Let's just do ending for thopters. But now we can buy high, I know. Coat is sick in armor, is it? Is it though? Keep. Opponent with the classic tank, 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 grief. 
Tank, 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 tank. Scam. The favorite gameplay experience of every Magic player. Actually, re reasonably fast. Very reasonably fast. How do you say? Fast paced? Reasonably fast paced, this opponent. This scammer opponent. Planes from. I need to draw Urza Saga. Urza Saga. Ooh, Blue Shaper's Gift. Could be anything. It's gonna be Cryptic Coat. You go Dothy. Okay. I'm at 12. I'll go Nexus Coat. Mem Knight. It's definitely going to side out Mem Knight against a deck with uh, an Orcish Bowmaster. Oh, I think I'm gonna double block. If you have a Orcish Bowmaster, uh, it is what it is. Oh, actually, it doesn't work. It still dies. Yeah, you can't do anything. This grief dies. Actually, can't do anything about this because of uh, Ward Two. I don't know what happens to Magical Line. Is my connection well? Hello. Lag test. Some effect. It's a needle. No, my cryptic coat. My cryptic coat. Ooh, hammer. Uh. No, she probably just pass. The Ragavan Dash, maybe I want to activate the Nexus. Alright, so I go to five. I draw Sigarda's eight, I win. I draw Paladin, I also win. Liliana of the Bay. Yeah, I wish I played Hammer now. Not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I don't know where my out can be though. Mm, maybe Shadow Spear. I got a two. If I draw Shadow Spear, no, Mishra's Factory is gonna be lethal. All right, so I'm playing against Mono Black. Mono Black. Mono Nero. How many of these do I want? All of them? I think Spellpierce. Yeah. I'm gonna say it like this. Let's go. On the play, vamos. Hmm. Because that isn't great, but I'm playing this deck with a ton of discard spell. I'm not gonna mod again, and I can go turn one surge if they discard. Why am I not playing with a new blue eye equipment? Yeah, I've been suggested um, to try it. Although uh, Travis Brown said it was bad, but I guess I could have tried it. Yeah, I could have tried it. I don't think it would have hurt anybody. You know what hurts everyone though? Not putting a surveillance in your deck. This definitely hurts you. Oh, 
that's not bad though. I'm gonna go for the Shield Shaper's Gift. And I go get my friend Cryptic Code. Yeah, I should have I should have had it. The the new Blue Wild Bleeding Ring achievement. Just to try, just for content. And very stupid to not have it. Urborg. Mm -hmm. I keep on fetching end of turn. And deck thinning with all my Albert Fountain. Blue mana is fixed. Uh, yeah, I think this is an easy cryptic coat. I'll fetch, I think. Deck thinning. Like, what can go wrong here? I don't think much can go wrong. I think worst case scenario is again, I kill this with a Shielder Edict and then uh, hit the needle my Cryptic Coat. Yeah, yeah I should have definitely played it to try it. You're right. Grief. Wait, you grief now that I don't have Surge up? Judgy, Judgy, my opponent didn't grief me on turn one and two when I have the surge up, and now they grief me. That's illegal. Playing around cards? How dare you? How dare you? You discard forging you. Very good. And then you're not dead after all it. And you take the surge. Mm hmm. Good boy, put on the saga. Mm. Eh, io non c'ho un cazzo, io caro. Ma le scarpe tutte, porca merda. E boh, let's untap. That's maybe I just want to morph this. Morph this. I think I want to unmorph this, yeah. Maybe bad. Oh, like if you have to play a spell, you have to pay two. Maybe bad. I'll return to Cryptic Coat. You don't want to offer to trade with the Saga Construct. I think so. What I got? Oh, Snowbridge Mystic. Does nothing. Oh, wow, they misclicked. Oh, no, that's not true. Sorry. I don't know why I felt that. Uh, yeah, you make a construct. And then you got Pithing Needle. Should I bounce the Cryptic Coat? Probably. Before you needle it. I got Shadow Sphere. They grief again that I drew another surge, but unfortunately I decided to tap out. E va bene, draw Cigar Desert or lose the game? Lose the game. Oh, mamma mia. Let's 
let's let's tweet about some Gucci finals. That is always fun. Yes. Who bought their bird at seventeen ticks and sold them at twenty? In Gucci Finance. In Gucci Finance. Boomer emojis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boomer emojis. Oh, am I finding the vault? I haven't activated once. I only won a game because I was against Blue Weapon Troll. Yes, I, I, I won some games. Oh, I have the vault. I'm gonna activate it. Agaban! Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay, they're attacking. I will block with my Mem Knight. You can scam it if you want. You don't scam it? Okay. Take it. Okay. Oh, is this an Orcish Bomanzo? It is. Okay, I'm gonna let it die. I don't care about. As percent, you know. Said that the client decided to give me one. Magical line heard me saying I don't care about as percent, you know. So here, have one. I heard you like it. I said no. Anti Geo, I said I don't care. That means huh, it's it's bad. That's what it means. Oh, chat, no so, no so. Just play a card, I guess. What I have to do? Why my cards are so weak? Why? Why can't I play with the strong one as well? What is the coat? Cryptic coat. You can read it under my camera. Oh, the cloth creature, the shadow spear. Days, this matchup was decent because we used to play with um, now nah, whatever this game is over. We used to play with uh, the sanctifier in the sideboard. <laughs> There's none in my sideboard. Maybe this matchup was not used to be very good ever. Anyway, let's see the sideboard. Black green, black red scam. So we said Athopter, Memnites, Gift. Man, Gift is great though. Can I just side out? I mean, I know he said to side out other cards, but I just want to side out Esper Sentinel. These cards suck. Bring in this. Sentinel just suck. Like, if, if, if I line up Sentinel against Orc, it's just terrible. Beyond the player should keep them in, maybe. Classic cigar does eight. Either you draw zero or you draw three. No in between. <laughs> okay, no, actually, you. Wow. Okay, wow. Wow. This is a good end. I wasn't expecting a good end. Hey, okay, die. Die.
What do I bottom here? Um, what if I bottom the Stoneforge Mystic? I just go Sentinel and then turn to a Sentinel. Okay, okay, yeah, this one's great. Nice. Yeah, this game is mine. Opponent is not gonna take it from me. I'm gonna go Urza Saga. Back. They they shocked, so I'm not gonna go see Gardas Edamar. That's a mistake. And I just play another Sentinel. Next, I'm gonna make a construct. This game is mine, opponent. You can already puck it up and go to the third one. Oh wow, you push. What do I draw? Nice. Spring with her. Very good draw. Yeah, so Esper Sentinel is for sure good on the play. But on the draw, probably side it out. Uh, I attack. No need to play armor, of course. And let's see if they go Blood Moon. I'll uh, probably win if they do that. So. Yeah, they go Blood Moon. Draw card first. I'll fetch. Construct. You kill my saga. I'll play Hammer. I'll put it on Sentinel. And then I attack you for 15. Are I told you it was my game opponent. Ha ha. Now, game three. I'll take out Sentinels, I'll bring in Spell Pierce, and I'll bring in a couple of Ornithopter. Oh. Alright, keep. Thought sees. Jokes on you, opponent. My hand sucks. You can't discard anything. Ooh, thought any any thoughts is buggers. I'm gonna play cigar as aid. Takeduma, that means they don't have no more land. What's that? Red and black. What? Oh, I'm holding a lapse. Gonna go Thopter, Boots, Equip. Attack for one. Bam, take that. Take that. Hey, Badoo. Table too good. I have nothing going on. No plan. No... Just no top decks available to me. Put it doesn't discard anything to Fable. Please don't play... Don't play Shield Druid. What's this? Grief? Ah, ah, you can't discard anything to me. Except you just discarded this. Uh, 
what's what 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 is a good draw? Urza Saga. Basta, mamma mia, basta. Basta. Attenzione, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. Okay, hey, you want to discard my card in the end? I won't let you do that, except I am discarding a card. Discard a pilot, you kill the pilot in here. Ah! We'll play the last match. I mean, it was close though, right? Every match, we almost won the game. The last time I played with Hammer, I went 1 4. 1 3 now. And I don't even think I could have won the games that I lost. It's not like sometimes I just lose and I'm like, oh, I punt to like half of the matches that I lost. But I think just you know, my deck's power level is not very high. All right, let's see. Let's see if the last match. Let's see if the last. Oh, another Kahira. All right. Thankfully, the Kahira players. Are here. Well, puzzle. Is it the same opponent? No. Ahiran. Ending. Sweet. Give me a card. Oh, it's a saga. It's so powerful. So powerful. There is a saga. So happy to see you, saga. I'm just so happy to see you. Not much else to say. I think the new Jita is okay. No, it's not okay. It's bad. But boots instead of uh, aid. I don't know, because I literally click buttons. I don't know if that's the answer you wanted to hear, but that's the one I gave you. Um, What if I kill? Let's play this. 
I counter it's okay, I have another one. Honestly, I said it was random, but I did think about this line where I play next turn and they go counter spell and I have a second one. I know that I might seem that. And you know, I have a third one after the second one after, and I think that's good. That probably doesn't matter too much. I think it's win this game because of Versus Saga. Alright, who do I get? He's got Hummer. I want to keep it. And I want to attack. Or 11. Bam bam. Pass. Now they can go Supreme Verdict. It's okay. They can go Ring. It's okay. But of course, if I didn't have Saga, this game would be so much worse, so much harder. Do we have any outs? Nope. All right, let's, let's, let's do it again. Let's draw the card Urza Saga at the right moment. For the victory. Mm -hmm. They have a Chalice of the Moose. I'm going to bring in the ending. They got Thopters, Pierre, One Drum. That's a go. And I just read on Twitter. I just read on Twitter. Sahar. That her friend brought her. A box of old cards, of magic cards, and inside of a sacrilege deck, she found four Gaia's Cradle. And he made the feeling. He made the feeling. Yeah, it's like yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. That just that's just amazing. That's just amazing, right there. Yeah. Anytime, I swear, anytime, anytime, some somebody that around that it, in my town or whatever, acknowledges that I play magic. They're like, "Oh, I also have a, some magic cards," and I told them, "Sure, you know, send me a picture or whatever." And it's just unplayable cards of second edition white border, super mega damaged. You know, I've never find any treasure. Anyone saying like, oh yeah, I have I have old cards and it's actually good cards. Never seen in my life. <laughs> All right, let's go gift for the um, cryptic coat. Then I go saga. Uh, yeah, so the, that's, a, that's a good thing. Yesterday, I I uh, only played four matches of the second league, and then I finished the third, the third, the fifth match off stream, and I was uh, and I had this uh, spot with uh, grief and bold. At the time, I thought it was bad to bold because my opponent was just clearly baiting me into doing that, but reading the comments and everything, it just made no sense. To not do so, because my opponent, if they had another not dead after all, they would just discard a bolt and then just keep one mana up and play around it. The way I played was I let this resolve. They discarded this. I fetch a survey land on top, a two mana up, and just double bolt to play around the the second uh, not dead after all. But and I thought it was the best play at the time. But you know, maybe it was just fun. It's just, just not, just don't play around it. Not also, just not, not, not play around it. You just should have just done it. Period. 
you know just just bold Wow, four tabernacle in a random deck. Yeah. No, some sometimes you hear stories about people having like four dual lands in their whatever two color decks. Like four s savannah, you know, scrub land, stuff like that. Alright, you played Teferi. That's fine. If you want to bounce, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna attack it. Okay, let's attack the fairy. Now go Saga Cryptic Coat. Too forging you. Okay, to play more to fairies, let's see what it bounds. Probably still the same saga. Yeah. Okay. The coat. Okay, I'm just gonna um, attack with both at Teferi. Philipper, yeah, Amali is a decent choice, but I don't really have too much to say about it. And it's, um, it's a good choice, yeah. Okay, um, mm -mm, I want to play Saga. I want to. How much money do I have to pay here? I play white or colorless? White. Okay. Well, I can do that. And also hold up search. I think it makes sense. Yeah, I'll do that. I think like if you net deck uh, the list that uh, Christopher Larson to pay to the pretty, you're not going wrong. Like they were a very good testing team, and you need to pay to the PT. And as I often say, you you really you know, this is I don't know. Just very wrong that if they decided to cut two company in that deck, it's not right. I don't know, I, don't know I can explain it, but I usually like to tr trust the people that tested for a pro tour rather than my own um, gut, especially if I don't really test. Oh, Chris, you're in the chat. <laughs> I didn't know this. Hello. What's a coincidence? How's the testing going for the standard and draft? Are you drafting a bunch? Did two draft yesterday and I got bugged and I got bugged on both drafts on Magic Online. So 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 far, you're drafting as you type. Nice. Yeah, I also look forward to draft. Although this afternoon I have to record the um, uh, Mango's Workshop video, just get control versus Melira Pod. I'll be playing Melira Pod. Tommy decided it was too hard for him. Yeah, there's so many bugs on Magical Line, it's unbelievable. 
Yesterday I had the Ophidian, the one three, that when you connect you draw, and it just didn't trigger several times when I was making crimes. Alright, my opponent is thinking a lot, as in typical blue white control uh, stance. And then I'm playing Prismatic Ending. Where? On the coat? No, opponent. I'm on old. You thought for so long, and then this was your play. I'm playing Seattle. Yes. Bounce. God, blue white control gets played in leagues, so we can 2 3. So we can get our 50 play points. Oh wow, Pile with Fountain untapped. What's this? Stifle? Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, you set me up. You didn't punt. It was all planned. Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable, Chad. Did you see? Yeah, exactly. Exactly what happened to me with the Ophidian. It's, it said can be blocked, and then in combat phase, it was somehow blockable again. What is a mastermind? I thought they were making mistakes, but they were just playing with me, huh? Big brain. Big brain right there. Alright, let's play drum. And I guess I just pass. I don't really have anything else to do, I think. Just make a construct, hold up surge. Yeah, this is a... Host of Resurgence was triggering in any turn yesterday? <laughs> the magical line. What a place. He will have a Supreme Verdict. My pants are Okay, paid tags. Oh, you don't pay the tax and interest spell peers. Crazy. Why? They have dressed down and a top deck spell peers. That's so lucky of me. That's so lucky of me. You go dress down now? No, you don't do it anymore? Okay, okay. Hmm. How likely is that I win the game this turn? It's probably very likely. I don't think I need another construct. Uh, lend. I'll play Paladin. Fortunately, I will end the league without having activated the Fomori Vault ever. So I guess it's probably not good, huh? You think it's okay in Tron for more vault? When it says GG. GG. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Blue Wipe Control. That is going to be it. Hope you enjoyed this video on YouTube. If so, remember to subscribe. Bye bye.